And the Horns did indeed hook Baylor tonight. 79-70 was the final score and some smiles as the eyes of Texas were played here in Austin. Impressively, Fran, the Horns shot 50% from the field against Baylor tonight. So this was by far one of their better offensive performances of the season. I, I agree, Brent. Last week they needed a miracle comeback to beat Oklahoma tonight from start to finish. I thought it was maybe as complete an effort as they had all year. They looked like a cohesive team on both ends of the floor. Let's take a look at uh, some of the highlights and uh, Mike Cabango was under control. Very much so. 19 points, eight assists, picked his spots well. He gets to the rim at ease. That really opens up things for your offense. He created some shots for his teammates. Of course, Sheldon McClellan, 23 points. Rick Barnes had to have a talking with him at halftime about staying aggressive. He did that. Really like what he did tonight. And then Cameron Ridley, another one of those precocious freshman big guys. And Julian Lewis added in his two cents as well. Uh, team performance and the Texas Longhorns who have struggled throughout much of the year with a big win over Baylor and the Bears are now under 500 and circle Saturday because the Kansas Jayhawks are coming to Waco and that's a must win for the Bears. Now the Longhorns are not going to make the NCAA tournament unless they win the Big 12 tournament in Kansas City. But one thing we have seen with this Texas team they have improved the youngest team in the country growing up. Well coach Baylor pulled within three points late in this game. How do you describe how your team finished it out. Well that's where we've gotten better. Obviously you know, Mike comes back and play but I thought a lot of guys really did. Sheldon came in and we talked about it at halftime. I thought he stayed engaged longer. We knew that uh, Julian Lewis was going to make a three at some point in time. And you know Pierre Jackson is a hard guy to really defend but it's a win and um, I just want to see if we can do it again and uh, do it with some consistency like we play with tonight. Cameron Ridley seemed like he had a good night tonight. What did you like from the big guy? Well, I like both he and Prince. You know, Prince thinks he can block every shot up there and he fouls too much, but I thought Cam's aggressiveness and, you know, he's had the weight of the world on him and he's, and he's a heck of a player and I just like the fact that he got aggressive and you know what he's going to be he's really good and he's going to get better and better but I'm just glad it's something good in terms of the way his teammates were really pulling for him and the free throws it's a mental thing with him because believe me he's better than that but he's got to do it when the lights are on and just quickly coach I know the NCAA tournament might be out of reach for you guys this season why? but what are you why is it? I mean we got a conference tournament I mean why would you say that good point uh, I mean you're asking me uh, hypotheticals like we talked about today I mean I don't know and again uh, it's never out of reach until it's over. And uh, I've been doing it too long. Like we talked today, there's a lot of teams that think they're in the bubble and this and that. This week and next week, there's a lot of things going to change. And there are some teams out there that aren't talked about. That'll be there, I promise you. Count on it. Point well taken, Coach. Right. Thank you. Thank you.